Annual Lakeside Rodeo is kicking off this weekend and Cowboy Dan's out yeah, there somewhere. Cowboy Dan with his plaid <laughs> shirt on. There he is. Hey, Dan. Yeehaw. Good morning, buckaroos. <laughs> We're here at Hilliker's. It's an egg farm. I've never been to an egg farm. Chances are you guys never been to an egg farm, but let's check it out. Frank is here. Hey, Frank, good morning. How are you, my, my friend? Doing excellent. How are you? I'm doing well. Now, you get up before the crack of dawn and get going after these eggs, don't you? Yeah, we sure do. Yeah, yep. yeah. All right, so show us what you got here. This is uh, this is one of the new cages because they call it a free range, right? Right. This is our new uh, cage-free operation. Uh, we just put it into service a couple weeks ago, and uh, we hope to be uh, getting some eggs out of here hopefully in about uh, next couple weeks. Yeah, now, this is an amazing farm. I've never been to an egg farm before, but you guys produce so many eggs every single day. These chickens lay like one egg a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. About, about an egg a day. We, we ask for six. If we can get six, if we can average about six a week, we're really happy. Yeah. 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 So you guys are doing business, a lot of business around. You were telling me all the different stores that you cater to and whatnot. And you have brown eggs and white eggs. What's the difference? Brown eggs come from brown chickens and white eggs come from white chickens. They really do? That's it? That's it. They're just eggs. Oh, my gosh. So we just actually had a couple eggs. Let's see what's going on in here. Are these guys laying eggs right now or what? Uh, what's going on? So you just fed them, didn't you? Yeah, they, they, the feed just went on a little bit ago and, and they were fed. Uh, we'll be getting some eggs, like I said, in about a week or two. Uh, you know, I mean, a couple girls might start laying pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, the sooner the better, but uh, they're still a little bit young. They're 16, 17 weeks old. Oh. So they get that big this this early, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Oh, yeah. All right. So, hey, let's go check out uh, some of the other operation around here. Here's Bessie, Frank. Okay. Is this Bessie out here? You know, that's uh, my uh, niece and nephew's 4-H uh, projects out there, the cows. Yeah. And I'm not... Uh, sure what their names are but she's a she's a holstein i can tell you that and then the other one's a jersey yeah so they seem to be pretty happy out here oh yeah they love it they get plenty of fresh uh fresh alfalfa hay every day and grain every day they they eat like kings all right so you're the vice president of the chamber out here you're involved in the parade you're involved in the whole rodeo yeah. thing this really this really puts lakeside on the map pretty much every year yeah, it does. We're really proud of the Lakeside Parade as well as the Lakeside Rodeo. We call it Western Week, and, and it's a big sense of community pride. It's a great way to bring people into town. It's a great way to get people together. Um, it's all put on by volunteers. There's no paid staff that, that put this on. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty remarkable thing. It really is. Can we go get a fresh egg? Sure. Let's go get a fresh egg. Maybe there's one over here. I'm not yeah, quite sure. What do you think? I, I imagine we'll find some. They're, they're at their peak laying time right now. All right. Uh, they're going to be laying eggs from now till about noon. Uh -huh. So I'm sure we'll be able to find a few. Oh, They've just... One? There's a, there's, there's a, a bunch. There's a bunch. Hold on. So we got the brown. This this is uh, interesting, but look at this. Here's a fresh brown egg for breakfast. Would you guys like it easy over, scrambled, uh, sunny side up, poached, any way you want it, we got it right here. Frank's got the fresh eggs. Look at that. <laughs> fresh eggs. Uh, Dan. Wow. Brandy just wants to make sure that you know, every I'm a city boy. Yeah. Br Brandy just wants to make sure that every chicken is being well taken care of yes. there. I'm just concerned about their welfare. <laughs> well, they, well, they are, they are, they're being well fed, and you know, I mean, this is this is the way the chicken industry is. And quite honestly, Brandy, interesting point because this is the old style cage where mm -hmm. the chickens are just sort of lined up and they have the feed, yeah. and then they drop the eggs. The one we showed you a minute ago, which was the free range, mm -hmm. that is the new style kitchen or kitchen uh, chicken coop. But here's the deal. That's required by law, and Frank just put that baby in. Mm -hmm. In about another year or two, these things are going to be pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Well, it's not necessarily required by law. It says that we have to give the chickens a little bit more room. Right. But I knew if I went cage-free, there would be no, no issue. Yeah. And so I feel it's the right thing to do for the birds. They're going to be happier. Mm -hmm. They're going to produce more. So I'm excited about it, and I can't wait to convert this barn and the next barn. So it's just a process. You know, as the money comes in, we'll be able to do it. So bear with us pretty soon. All Hilliker's eggs uh, from Hilliker's Ranch Fresh Eggs will be cage-free. All right, my man, that is Frank, Frank Hilliker. Breakfast is served, you guys. <laughs> All right. Breakfast is Looks served. good. Save uh -huh. me a few. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. All right, now let's go over to Brad Perry. He is in Lakeside, also talking about the rodeo. Hey, Brad.
Hey, morning, guys. I thought I'd step outside really quick here from Cafe 67 and show you how close they are to the rodeo grounds. And you can just look over our shoulder, literally right across the street where we'll be tomorrow, of course, going live from 6 to 10 and giving you a big preview, of course, of the rodeo here. Spending 50 years here in Lakeside, which is going to be great. Uh, let's go ahead and talk some.